Welcome back to Loboptics. Today, we will warp the shape of a laser beam. During the preparation, I will need to get two AA batteries for the laser itself and water. The first step in our assembly is to attach a wooden laser holder onto a piece of foam. After fixing another wooden holder onto the batteries, I will fasten the laser holder on top. Using an adhesive pad, I will attach a terminal block onto the battery holder. I will now connect the wires from the battery holder and the laser into the terminal block. After setting the laser onto the holder, I will switch the batteries on. This will create our laser beam. To morph the shape of the laser, I will first transfer some water from the cup into a simple transparent cylinder. Also, if you like the video so far, leave a like and subscribe to the channel to watch more videos. To morph it even further, I will fill a cup with liquid glitter and then move it in the path of the beam. Look at the result. Additionally, using the pipette to create a laser explosion, I'll create bubbles in the water. Observe the results. a lenticular lens, more info on that in the next video, to create an awesome laser effect. Scientific explanation. A laser is a device that shines a narrow beam of light rays in one direction. The cylinder that we use not only transmits the light through, but also changes direction in the process. Light rays bend when they pass from one medium, like air, to another, like the cylinder or cup of water. This is called refraction. When the ray passes through the cylinder, they are refracted twice, when they enter the cylinder and when they exit it, causing them to gather behind the cylinder and then diverge to the left and right as shown in the diagram. Our glass of glitter and water is full of tiny reflective particles. As the ray passes through it, they are reflected by these particles, creating duplicate rays that meet our eyes. That is how we can see the path of the laser in the glass. I hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel to get notifications for the next video in the series. See you next time, bye!